Uh, do you have any ideas on how to make always in training less stressful or less strainful? Not really. I have two comments about that. One is trade so small that you do not care. You trade the do not care sides, and you do not get rich trading do not care, but you get very good practice. You have money on the line, and I think that always affects how you trade, and that's important. So it's a cheap way to get good experience trading. And the only other thought I have is trade the way the institutions trade, right? If you watch television, you watch anybody on television, they tell you how, how they trade, and they tell you a lot. So in a market like this, this is the monthly chart. They see this. You'll hear them say, oh, is this the start of the bear trend? I don't think so. It's the first time down. We need to see a test up. And it tests up, and it didn't pull back. Same thing here. You see all this selling. Do you get out of always in long below here or below here? Well, you might be able to, right? If you're able to get back in above here, then it's okay to get out there. But a lot of the professional traders on television, when they see this, they'll say, well, that's not a good top. I'll wait to sell if it tests up and gets a double top. So in other words, they don't get out on the first reversal down. And that's true all the time with professional traders. 1987, you see the crash. A lot of traders, they do not get out right away. to show something, but I don't have the cash index on this chart. And the same with all of this daily chart. Do the always in traders get short here? No. They stay long. They'll sit through this and maybe get short here second time down. Do they get long here? Yes, it's the second time up, a double bottom, or do they get long here? So a lot of stress comes from trying to fine-tune it and get as many trades as you can. But you just ask yourself, below bar 5, is it likely the high of the day? No, I'm going to hold long. Below 12, below 22, below 30, below anything. Are any of these likely the high of the day? Well, I'm not convinced. And if I'm not convinced, then I assume that what is to the left will continue, will continue to work higher. And then if you get a big bear breakout, you say, ah, okay, it looks good. The bears did a good job. I'll sell out of my lungs on a rally. And that's what creates that lower high major trend reversal, right? You have the bears who held through the first sell-off wanting to see just how strong it would be. And if it looks strong, then they decide to get out on the first pullback. When it pulls back 50% or so, the bulls get out. And the bears who did not sell say, okay, I didn't sell the first time down, but the first time is so strong, we should at least test the bottom of that first sell-off, and therefore I'll sell. 